Hi everybody, welcome back to my floss tube, floss tube number four. Um, thanks for, for checking me out again, thanks for coming back. Um, if, if, it's, if you're not coming back, if it's your first time, my name is Julie, I'm coming to you from Colorado. I live near Boulder, and um, but I'm originally from Kansas City and my heart's still in Kansas City, that's why I am. Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. Um, so, first thing, uh, I wanted to start with the giveaway winner. I announced in my last video that um, I'd be doing a giveaway. Uh, let me remind you of the prizes. We've got uh, Little House Needleworks Lantern Lane. And um, Little House Needleworks North Pole Express. And um, that was just to try to get somebody in the, the Christmas spirit, like me, because I'm stitching nothing but Christmas until at least January. Um, so anyway, random winner is Quail Hollow 7. So I will be sending you a message on YouTube. I don't know how to do that, but I will learn. I will figure it out. I'll send you a message, and then um, hopefully you'll send me back your address, and I'll get that in the mail to you, and you uh, can get some Christmas stitching on, girl. That'll be coming your way. Um, okay, so what else we got? What do we got? We got lots of haul. That's what we've got. Um, <laughs> unfortunately... I don't have much in the way of finishes, um, but I did get a little bitty baby finish. Um, when I showed you guys this last time, I only had these two ornaments done, uh, but now I got this one. And it says, the heavenly aroma is still hung in the house, but it was gone, all gone. It's from a Christmas story. I'll show you the other two I already showed you again. He looks like a pink nightmare. And the soft glow of electric sex. So I'm going to finish those into ornaments. But I don't know how to do that yet. But I'm going to learn. Um, I'm hoping that I will have some fully finished objects to show you guys soon. Because right now... I finished them. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, I need to watch Vonna's tutorials that you guys all talk about all the time. Figure out how to make these pretty. Uh, but anyway, that's all I have for finishes. But I've got so much haul. Let's talk about haul. So first things first. I have a local needle s store. It's amazing. I, I have haul from there. Um... It's called a stitching shop. It's located in west, the west side of Denver. It's a little suburb called Lakewood. It's awesome. The owner is Christine. She's wonderful, knowledgeable, helpful, awesome. That store has everything. You guys have, some of you have probably heard about it. Someone had posted, I think in Stitch Mania, a bunch of pictures of a recent trip they took there. It's incredible. They have so much. I was there for two hours. Every time I'm there, I'm probably there for at least two hours. Um, and you still can't see everything. There is so much of that store. It's amazing. So shout out to a stitching shop. Awesome. I'll show you the haul I got from there. Um, but first I discovered a new place called The Craft Box. And it's um, like a consignment for um, crafts. So there's like a lot of knitting stuff. A lot of sewing, scrapbooking, and then they have a cross stitch section. It's amazing. Um, you know, it's it was more than I thought. I really expected very little. They had hundreds of patterns. A lot of them were older, but they had some really cool ones. So um, I picked up Pineberry Lane, Autumn on Marigold Lane. Now I am doing Christmas stitching now, so this will be for next year. But I thought that was adorable. Definitely cool. 
And then I got Little House Needleworks Deck the Halls, which I've been, it's been in my wish list. I've been meaning to buy it for ages, so I was happy to find that for a dollar fifty. Yes, please. And then I found Little House Needleworks The Harvesters, and this was the one I had not seen before. Now, I don't stitch scripture, and I'm not judging anybody who does, and I don't want to get into it, but it's not my cup of tea. So I'm going to have to figure out something to replace the actual verse, but I just thought the family and the pumpkins were just so cute. I had to get it. But that'll be for next year, because we are on to Christmas stitching. I also found this. It's a sampler guild of the Rockies from their 2012 retreat. And as best I can tell, it's freebie charts that somebody like collected. Like, I mean, there's some, uh, uh, all these different like stitching people you've heard of and some you haven't. Um, like there's a, they're on traditions. There's a good housewife. And I'm thinking it's just freebies. I'll kind of hold it back. It's just charts. It's just cute little charts. I'm thinking it's freebies that they've put out and someone like photocopied them all together. I don't know. It's a couple dollars. There's a couple cute ones in there. It's mostly just houses. Lots and lots of houses. But do something with it. And then I got... 14 skeins of the Thread Gatherer Silk and Colors Yellow Blush. Why did I do that, you might ask? Why did I need 14 of these? I don't. I don't. But um, they were $2.59 a piece. Can you beat that price? I don't think you can. So I bought 14 skeins of it, and here's what I'm thinking. Someday, not not any day soon, but someday, and then I think I'm gonna start death by cross stitch, or maybe life after death. But um, and I know 14 skeins isn't enough to do that. But I'm thinking like I would pick maybe two other colors and buy a bunch of those, and then um. I don't know. I got to think about it. I got to find a color scheme. But, I mean, I could not pass up that deal. Such a good deal for silk and colors. $2.59. So, and, and it's really pretty. I mean, it's probably not going to show up. But um, it's yellow. It's yellow with, like, orange and pink. It's very lovely. Oh, and then I got, um, <laughs> for all those finishes that I haven't done, I got some, uh, this one's homespun, uh, this one isn't, but it has that look, so I'm going to use these for some finishes, Priscilla style, because you know, Priscilla, Priscilla, you're my girl. Um, okay, so then, uh, from a stitching shop, my local needle workshop, which is incredible, here's what I got from them. I got Plum Street Samplers, a bowl full of Mary's, Mary 2. Too cute. I've been buying a lot of those prim, old style Santas. I'm into it. So, more Christmas stuff. And then I got, oh, I hadn't seen this one before. It's a Brenda Gervais Heap on the Wood. Hmm. I hope that's showing up. It says, keep on the wood, the wind is chill, but let it whistle as it will. We'll keep our Christmas merry still. Uh, that was just incredible. Oh, that glare. I'll take it out of the package. Mm -hmm. 
It's just really soft muted colors, it's, but I think it's really beautiful. <laughs> we, we had a good laugh, uh, me and Christine, about um, how she'll call for like all these colors and it'll be for like 10 stitches so you have to buy like a whole skein of something for like a couple of stitches but I'm not knocking her because her designs are gorgeous so, but it was still funny um got a bunch of bunch of classic color works and gas like just an assortment of different colors I need for all these patterns um oh I this was from my picture of this plus in July but I wanted to show you guys I think what I'm gonna stitch this uh keep on the wood this pattern I think I'm going to stitch it on picture this plus Ren. So I've got that pulled and ready. It's got that kind of um, pewter kind of color, that cool neutral. And then total impulse purchase, but I'm really excited. I got a big piece of the Primitive Hair Old New England. She only had the one. I've picked this up every single time I've gone in this shop and been like, mm -hmm. and and I always put it back. And Christine's like, I'm not getting any more. This is the last one I'm gonna get. So I was like, fine, fine, I gotta have it. I'll take it. So it's like this super like grungy aged <sighs> linen. It's, just, it's just so cool. I got that. Um, oh, and then today, this haul I've been waiting, promising you guys, I finally got my, uh, my one of my online orders. I've got more coming. Just one, just one little baby one coming still. Um, so from an Etsy seller, um, the, the cottage, yeah, the cottage needle. I got Brenda Gervais Christmas at Winterberry Cabin. Oh, I love this one. These little Santas, they're just killing me. I'm going to take that out too. Too much glare. Sorry, guys. It gets dark so early here. And I'm sure you guys have seen that one. I got to have it. And then I got Country Cottage Needleworks. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I kept trying to order this from 123 Stitch, and it kept going in and out of stock. And by the time I'd get ready to order it, it'd be out again, and blah, blah, blah. I finally got it. And then I got um, Plum Street Samplers. A Dust of Snow. I had never seen this one before. I'm very excited about it. Looks like it'll stitch really quick because you guys know how those words stitch up. Oh, they always stitch so fast. It says, The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree has given my heart a change of mood and saved some part of a day I had rude. You guys know I love snow. Super excited about that one. I'm also excited how some of these patterns aren't just Christmas, they're just they're also just winter. I think that's always fun. Um, I was promised a free gift with the pre-order of the most wonderful time of the year, and I did get one. Um, my free gift was two skeins of Cosmo Blast. I can use that. Oh, and then I also got a, a cool little needle minder. You guys know I love my sugar skulls. So I got this wood um, sugar skull needle, needle minder. That's a nice segue into the other thing I wanted to show you guys today. Which is my needle minder collection. Yeah, it's quite extensive. Um, funny story. I've, I've got like 20 more on the way. I don't even know. I didn't count. It's probably 20. Uh, Jen's needle minders on Facebook. Uh, um, 
I went a little crazy. I ordered all the needle minders. I just got a notification today that she shipped them out. So I'll be getting those. I'll show you when I get them. But let me show you what I already have. Um, some of these are bought mostly from Etsy. A lot of these I made. I always keep my eye out for any kind of like um, anything that looks like it would be made into a needle minder. Like a pen or something. And I'll buy it. So, but a lot of these are like Hobby Lobby buttons and things like that that I glued a magnet to. But let me just show you this random assortment. If any catch your eye and you want more details, just let me know in the comments. All sorts of fun. Harry Potter, Grumpy Cat, Princess Bride. They're just so easy to collect. They're usually like five bucks or something. That's kind of scary if you think five bucks and multiply that. I didn't pay that much for all of them. But, you know, they're cheap. They're easy to collect. I've got more. That's not all. Mm -hmm. um, this says chores, but I'm going to figure out something to cover that up. It's not always going to say that. Here's some more. I got Stranger Things and Harry Potter. Star Wars, wine, coffees, fairy tales, Cinderella, all sorts of good stuff. Now these Harry Potter ones I made myself, and I want to tell you guys because this is super easy. So these, these right here, these are super duper nice quality pens um, from Disney. Someone, I saw someone wearing this Slytherin pen. And I was like, oh my god, I have that too. And she said she actually got it at Disney, like at the resort. Who knows what they charged for it. But let me let y'all in on a little secret. You can get them at Target. You know where the football cards are up by the checkout? Like the baseball cards, football cards, magic cards, like all those collectible cards. If you go there, they have um, these Harry Potter pens. Now they're blind packaging you don't I think there's six or seven designs you don't know which one you're gonna get um because it's blind but you can feel I, I literally just kind of squished the package and I could tell like you know the big fat one was a badge and the tall skinny ones were people I did end up with two Hermione's but otherwise I got all unique ones um and then they're like super duper nice quality and all I did was take pliers and pop off the stabby part, the pin, um, and then I just threw a, a, a magnet on it. That easy, guys. Took me four seconds. And it holds a needle really well. So it's all my needle minders, but I got more on the way. That's what I got right now. Um, okay, so what else? Oh! I forgot I wanted to do a shout out um, to a couple people that shouted me out um, and I'm gonna ch try to remember to link them below um, the first one is Lil Snips L-I-L-S-N-I-P-S -S, and she gave me a really nice really sweet thoughtful shout out thank you very much and um, I've only been able to like watch one of your videos but I'm gonna watch some more um, but I really enjoyed her, her videos a lot. She's great. And then the other person who gave me a shout out was Crafty Cat Stitcher. And same thing, I gotta like watch back some videos because I really enjoyed your videos too. And thank you so much for the shout out. You guys are great. Thank you. Um, I've got a lot of floss tube to catch up on. I don't know if I can catch up on all of them, but I'm gonna at least watch back a few. Um, and then um, what else do I have? I got whips. Not a lot, but a couple. So, um, Heartstring Samplery. Baby, it's cold outside. This one is stitching up really fast. Really, really fast. Um, it kind of looks, I don't know, I thought it would take a while. Like, it looks pretty big, but it's really not. 
I'm, I'm doing it on the called for picture this plus ale and I did show you guys in my last video how that's so much darker than what the pick looks like and I know farm girl stitcher is doing this right now and she subbed out the fabric because she also was like what that is super way darker than the picture like it's it's way darker but I decided to trust Beth I was like you know what? I'm just gonna do it I'm gonna go for it and I actually really like it and um, it's showing the colors, you know, really well, and I'm into it, even though it's not quite what I expected. Um, so anyway, this is only like three days of stitching, and I'm like half done, you guys. Using all the called for threads, called for fabric. Stitching up really quick. I should have just stuck with it and finished it, but I've got starditis, so I had to start something else. And also, you guys have seen how many Christmas projects I have to do this. I'm obviously not going to get them all done before Christmas. I might not even get any of them done. Maybe one. Um, but I just got a hundred things I want to stitch for Christmas, including all the things I just hauled. So I'm only going to devote a couple days to anything before I move on. I hope I get back to it and finish it, but we'll see. Um, so the other, so then I started last night. Little House Needleworks, The North Wind, which I showed you guys in my last video. And this, I didn't get real far, but I got a cute little start. And this one is another where, I, I didn't buy the called for fabric, but online I looked for a fabric that looked to be this color. This is what I got. Not even a little close, you guys. But I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to go for it. So far, I'm okay with it. I It shows the white really well. I hope it, um, as I add more colors, I'm still into it. We'll see. I'm, I'm pretty easy going, so. Okay. I think that's all I have to show you guys today. Um... Thank you very much for watching. I've got one more Christmas pattern on the way to me. And then one on, I'm waiting to go back in stock on one, two, three stitch. It keeps going in and out. So that's what I got. Hopefully that's all I'm going to buy. Um, but I need your guys' help. Okay. I bought this as a Priscilla inspired finishing object. I got this at Michael's for half off $19.99. I thought that was fair. It's a window frame with like some Christmas greenery. It lights up. Let me see if I can show you. Ah! Hi Lincoln. You want to say hi? No? Okay. So anyway, here's where I need help. I need four Christmas themed things to put in here. And these are probably five by seven. And here's where I thought it'd be easy, like I'll easily find a grouping of four Christmas patterns, but I'm actually really having trouble because most of what I'm finding would go like this way. But that won't work. So I need it to go this way. <laughs> so I need your guys' help if you know four like a collection of four, and it could be more than four, it could be like six things and I'll pick four, but like, you know, four things that match, that are Christmassy, that would be long rectangles, that would work for this. It's not going to be done this year, I know, but I want to still start thinking of the patterns and buy them, and I haven't been able to find anything. I was on 123Stitch looking for a while. The only thing I could find was like Prairie School or Santa's, but I think they're much smaller than that. And they're not my favorite is favorite. So if anybody has any ideas, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep looking. I'll keep hunting. We'll see. And if anybody wants this, $19.99 at Michael's. And you too can be like Priscilla. Okay. No, so that's really all I've got today, guys. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking any minutes out of your day, even if you only watch a few minutes and turn the video off, whatever. I appreciate you guys showing me the love. I'm, it, it's really nice. Um, 
And um, if you have any questions ever about anything I'm doing, feel free to leave it in the comments. I would love to do a, a little question and answer like Garrett the Coffee Stitcher does, you know, where he drinks his, like, how are you guys doing? Sip. Mm -hmm, that's wonderful. I just love, I love him. Um, so anyway, if there's anything you want to know about me or my stitching or anything I've showed you, drop me a comment. Otherwise, I will see you when I see you. Next week is Thanksgiving. I'm leaving on Monday to go back to Kansas City, and I'm not coming back till Saturday. So I don't know if I'll get another floss tube out before I leave, and I don't know. might be a couple weeks before you hear from me. So, um, I bet I'll be back. I'm not done. I'll be back, guys. So until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.